always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Be yourself around others. The biggest assumption that humans make is that everyone sees life the way we do. We assume that others think the way we think, feel the way we feel, judge the way we judge, and abuse the way we abuse. We are afraid to be ourselves around others because we think others will judge us, victimize us, abuse us, blame us as we do ourselves. Right. Get rid of that, man. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 192, NASDAQ off 52, S&P's off 9.5, gold contract up there at $11.10 at 1865 an ounce. We get silver up nine cents, twenty-five dollars four cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down two forty-six, seventy-eight dollars twenty-nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up seven ticks, trading at one thirty thirteen. The thirty-year up eleven at one sixty eleven. And king dollar, king dollar down sixty-six ticks, trading ninety-five eight forty-eight. Euro is at one thirteen. The yen is out here at one fourteen, and the British pounds at one thirty-four to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We take a look at the SPY out here. You get a sideways move. Bottom line, you're down a buck 15, but that's certainly a sideways move. You get 30 million shares traded. Yesterday, you tried to push higher with 48 million shares traded. That's telling me that, hey, man, we're going higher. You know, bottom line. Th these are the little subtle new moves, folks, okay, that you want to keep your eye on. See, the, the high out here has 66 million shares traded. That's 470.65. Yesterday, you get up to 470.48, and you have an expansion of volume. Bottom line, you're backing down today, and you get 30 million. So we'll do 40 million. But what I've found is this. You can find out more about how the markets are reacting on the counter trend move. And the counter trend move, what I'm saying right now, would be as you're backing down. Because you're backing down, and there's no sellers on the back down. That's how this baby uh, shakes out. we we'll go take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. Three Qs, bottom line, set up the same way. The, the, the three Qs right now, they're basically flat at 397.54. The high is 400.99. Uh, what we did out here yesterday is that uh, you got up to uh, 397. You did uh, 27 million shares. This will do 27. It'll do 27, 30 million shares. That, that's, that's what I expect we're going to do. Uh, so we'll see how this baby shakes out. Thus far, you only have 21 million. Gold. Gold contract right out here. We'll take a look at the gold contract. We hit 1870 today. We hit 1851 today. It rejected lower price at 1851. Uh, bottom line, let's see this. Gold, my take, gold is building costs to get to this uh, 1925. It's going to be really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. Uh, GCZ. So, we're at 18.65 up. You're up 11 and a half dollars right now. We got to take a look at the silver market. Silver also wants higher price. Silver's up 10 cents. You're trading at 25.04, and it looks to me your next step up on silver. You get two different areas here. When we broke the 24.95, which we're just barely over it, um, that's basically saying that you're gonna get about two and a half dollars. So it's a 25, 20, that's 27 dollars. So the next move, that would make sense. See, you get a swing high up here that laying out from July 6th. That's game. That's the 26.95. I suspect we're going to get all the way up to this 28th 77 area. Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at that note and bond market because what you have here, I want to show you something here. This is pretty cool. So, and this is, you. we haven't seen this in years, folks, okay? So what, what you have here is this, is that you have the 10-year. The 10-year got to the bottom of its range, consolidation, the lower part of it, rejected lower price. Bottom line is trying to get out of here. That being said, now watch the difference. Normally, you know, we're, if we've been looking at the last 15, 20 years, the bottom line is that we haven't had the... The yield curve flattened out. What the yield curve flattened out means specifically, folks, is that the long-term rates are not going up as fast as the short-term rates. And you can see that in the 30-year chart. See the 30-year chart? The, bo the bottom of that chart is 157.03, but yet we're still up at 160, where the 10 is at the very bottom of that. Now, let me see if I can. I think I can show you this yield curve. One second. Take that. Where's that curve? Volatility. Come on, baby. Give me that curve. 
Mm. There it is. Let's see that. What did that do? Yep, I'll have to look at that. And, uh, bottom, bottom line. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, hold on one second. I get the wrong one up. Okay, so there's. So right now, the 10 year is at 1.6. Watch this. Now I'm going to put the 30 year up. 30 year is only 2. Is that the difference? It's, it's intriguing. So the change is the range. Anyway, uh, King Dollar. Let's go take a look at King Dollar out here. What do we have with King Dollar out here? Well, we have a King Dollar. King Dollar got to a price point today of 96,241, and you're at 95,837. It looks, you know, I don't think King Dollar's done just yet. I, I'd love it to be done. <laughs> um, but it looks to me that 97,633 could be game. Uh, so we'll see how that baby shakes out. Some of the higher volume equities out here today inside of the marketplace. You got uh, Apple's up three bucks trading 154. You got Rivian down 25 bucks at 146. Uh, Sonus, look at this, man. Holy cow, what the heck happened? Ah, this thing's up $19, man. Wow. Visa's down 11 bucks. That's a, that's a, Tesla's up 33. Let's go over to Sonus Group, man. What is this? So, Oh, Sono Group. Oh, different ball game. Electric Power. Everyone's getting there. You know, you get an Electric Power stock out here, folks, and they, they're just putting it to the moon. I see. This is an IPO. Okay. So the bottom line is that it was at twenty dollars today, though. Uh, it gets up to thirty-four. Yeah. So just put Electric in front of the name, folks. And the bottom line is that you will get those day traders in there ramping that baby up in a monster way. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> Pretty wild. Um, Tesla, let's go take a look at Tesla. Elon just keeps selling shares out here. Um, and the thing that's a mind blower is that people just keep buying it. It's like, man, oh man. Um, you know, let's see. So the number to keep your eye on Tesla is gonna be, it's 1104. Uh, we hit 1119 out here today. You got a little volume, but you're coming into the downdraft when he was selling like crazy. 59 million is coming into 28 million. That's telling me that Tesla's still gonna get to a lower price. Say right there, folks, come right back. <laughs>